Hey everybody, it's Allie, the canine nutritionist from Padfoot Palms Poodles and Pals. And today I'm going to show you what it is that I am feeding my pregnant standard poodle. So before she gets way too excited for this, let's jump right into it. Are you excited for your treat? You want your treat? Momentum Carnivore Nutrition Meal Bar. This is the turkey recipe. Um, they have other proteins as well. I love these things, and so do the dogs. So, anyway, this is a complete meal um, all in itself. So what I've done is I've just cut it down the side. They come pre-packaged, vacuum-packed, and I am now going to break this up in the bowl so that when I rehydrate it in the hot water, it will rehydrate faster. Because I have the rest of my dogs outside, so I don't wanna be working on this for a long period of time. Okay, now we're gonna treat this just like we would raw meat, so I'm gonna go wash my hands. Next up, I've got this weight gainer. Um, it's really hard to find one of these that doesn't have problematic ingredients in it, but uh, standard poodles have a tendency to be thin. Um, velocity, that is especially true for, for velocity. So I add a big heaping scoop into her meal and her probiotic. She's very good about eating those. Oh, by the way, this is the probiotic, in case anybody was wondering. Next up is her prenatal vitamin. And she's very good about if you mix a prenatal or a pill or something into her food, she's just, whoop, okay, as we almost drop the camera there, sorry. Stay with me, people. Um, anyway, she's very good about just eating it if it's in there because she's excited. Got my awesome soup spoon because we're classy today. This is canine caviar. It's just a kelp supplement. And I'm just going to eyeball this and scoop some out. And then I've got some freeze-dried Vital Essentials, this is the Turkey Mini Nibs. I use this as a treat for them. Oh, that's the other thing that I wanted to mention. We're just gonna put just a couple little scoops in there. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that people have a hard time with their dogs when they're pregnant eating their food. And one thing that really works well for us this is freeze-dried goat's milk, if you're wondering what that is. Um, one thing that I like to do is I tell her that this is a treat. So this is hot, hot water that I've just mixed into here. And basically I'm just gonna mix all that powder in so that it's no longer powdery. And I'm going to let this sit for a second so that it can rehydrate. Last but not least, I'm going to top this with shredded cheese. Now, I don't recommend that shredded cheese be a staple part of your dog's diet. However, when females start to get towards the end of their pregnancy, it can become very difficult to motivate them to eat, right? Because the puppies are big, they're pressing on the stomach, there's not a whole lot of room for their stomach, they may be feeling nauseated. So this is one of the ways that I keep my dogs interested in food. So this has been rehydrating for a few minutes and now I'm gonna go ahead and give it to her. And as you can see, she's ready. Okay, you ready for your treat? You ready for your treat? 
Good girl. Okay, here you go. Eat your treat. Good girl. Good girl, Velocity. So that's the other thing that I like to do. I like to tell them that it's a treat and then give them a lot of praise for eating the food. We want this to be a really positive experience. And normally at this point, I would walk away and just leave her alone with the food, which is actually what I'm going to do right now. So I have left her alone in the kitchen to eat her food. Um, when females are pregnant, their hormones are very high. And you'll find that some females can become um, obsessed with food. Some of them, they'll become obsessed with a specific toy or a specific person. And in the case of Velocity, I like for her to just eat alone so she doesn't feel any pressure to A, gulp down the food, and B, that she's not feeling like, hey, what are you doing? Are you taking the trash out? Are you cooking something? Are you doing dishes? Are you doing, right? Because she's very involved in whatever I'm doing. So this is kind of my way to let her just relax, be in a quiet environment. She's just eating her food. And I find that she does very well with this and she will finish that entire bowl in like five seconds. Um, I get asked quite a bit, how much should I be feeding my pregnant dog? Um, in the case of standard poodles, I would say as much as they'll eat. Um, my kind of rule that I use is feed them as much as they will eat smaller meals multiple times a day. Um, you're going to add in additional meals, right, for those pregnant females, and you just want to watch their weight because they're going to be gaining weight anyway, right? They're growing little puppies, but you want to make sure that they're not becoming overweight. Depending on your breed, they may be more prone to overeating, right, and then that can cause other issues. So you just want to add in smaller meals really up those calories. That's why I love those freeze-dried raw meal bars because they pack in a lot of protein and a lot of fat without adding a lot of bulk, right, of like a whole meal. Now, she has access to food all day, but we do have smaller feedings of fresh food throughout the day. And that really helps her, especially when she was going through kind of her nauseous phase, that helps her keep everything down because she was feeling really nauseous, uh, really nauseated there for a little while. So anyway, okay, she has finished. So I'm gonna take her outside so she can go potty. Um, if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we are going to be documenting a lot that's gonna be happening right here in this room as we're setting up for Velocity to have her puppies, which are due Christmas day. So stick around, we'll see you in the next video.